So I want to share with you a story about our collaboration with HCMA. They're an architecture and design firm based out of Vancouver that makes beautiful award-winning buildings around the world that any filmmaker would dream of shooting. But I'm not any filmmaker. Instead of focusing on symmetry and composition, I wanted to find a story about this building that leaves people feeling something emotional. In this video, I wanna share with you the journey of making the short film for a client that thought we'd be making an architecture video, and instead, we found a story that literally brought them to tears. I'll show scenes from the final film throughout this video, but if you wanna see the whole thing, there's a link in the description down below. Here's how it happened. This project is with HCMA, a multidisciplinary design firm that creates award-winning buildings. Over the past few years, our teams have been working together to tell stories. I could see that they really care deeply about the human element of their work. So I was like, we should be making films about that. See, this is the kind of storytelling that I love. What you create from it is something that's heartfelt and personal. It's the kind of filmmaking that AI will never be able to take from us. And in this case, we were given the Cedar Creek Community Center in Saanich, BC. It's on Vancouver Island, which is a boat ride away, so we were in the dark here. We reached out to the folks who run programming at the community center and told them about the project. They pointed out an arts program called Art High 55, which brings in seniors to work on bespoke arts and crafts. And I thought, this is perfect. Seniors have a lifetime of stories to pick from, and an arts program gives our film an opportunity for narrative structure. You see, in screenwriting, we're told that compelling stories need some kind of momentum to move things along. You have to have rising stakes through a linear beginning, middle, and end. So an art project is perfect vehicle for that kind of film because it gives us something to follow that has like a beginning, middle, and end. We landed on a gentleman named Jim. Great guy. It was just me and T on this project, so I have to make sure that the gear we bring is easy to carry, easy to set up, and easy to handle. But it's also important to remember that we're entering into a situation where the person we're working with, Jim, isn't used to filmmakers and camera gear. He's not an actor. Having too much gear can be intimidating. The first thing we did was to meet with Jim without any of the equipment. We enjoyed a coffee together, and we chatted about the project, and about life, and about art. And it was there that I learned something very important about Jim. Something that changed the entire story. My wife had passed away during COVID. Jim only started coming to Art High 55 after his wife had died. When he lost the love of his life, he needed something to uplift him. It was Jim's daughter that got him involved in Art High 55 as a way to heal from his loss. Getting to know Jim and his personal story, it became clear to me, at least, that this program wasn't just some experiment to him, it was a medicine. Jim's story is a bittersweet reminder of the cycle of life. You know, life gives us beautiful gifts, but then takes them away just as easily. And we need to find new ways of recognizing what's still beautiful to us. I realized only then that all that hodgepodge about using art as narrative structure, it wasn't going to work. All a story needs to do is to connect to our hearts. And Jim's vulnerability, his willingness to share his pain in the same breath as he expresses his passion, that's the story. I decided simply just to witness Jim in his joy of making art. And so, if you haven't seen the film yet, take a look and come back here and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Or rather, tell me how it made you feel. This is the first time I'm doing a video like this, and so if you've made it all the way here to the end, thank you. And please let me know how I did. I'd love to offer more insights into how we tell stories here at Kahani, if that's something that's really meaningful for you. Thanks for watching.